24 HRS after admitting I'll say no when Trump asks me to protect Americans, brazen gov gets perfect karma. The United States is bracing itself for impact as 1,500 immigrants close in on our southern border. They are making their way up from Central America, and plan to enter the United States, via our southern states, and demand that we take them in. This march is not a quiet stroll that ends with them secretly slipping under a fence and blending into American culture. This is more like a small army, shouting their intentions like a battle cry, with towns along the way, helping in order to make sure that they don't stay, pushing them northward to the land of opportunity, that has us. Because their march has been so widely publicized, the president has decided to take action and put a stop to their invasion. However, Many of the liberal, illegal supporting politicians don't agree with this action. Because the support of illegal immigrants wins so many brownie points with liberal voters, the Democratic politicians have been coming out of the woodwork to admonish the president for his actions. In fact, according to The Hill, Oregon Governor, Kate Brown, went so far as to say that she would ignore any requests for help from our Commander-in-Chief to send troops to protect the United States. Oregon Governor Kate Brown, D, said she would reject a request from President Trump to dispatch National Guard troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. If a real Donald Trump asks me to deploy Oregon Guard troops to the Mexico border, I'll say no comma Brown tweeted. As commander of Oregon's Guard, I am deeply troubled by Trump's plan to militarize our border. She added, there has been no outreach by the president or federal officials. And I have no intention of allowing Oregon's Guard troops to be used to distract from his troubles in Washington. Trump on Wednesday signed a proclamation ordering National Guard troops to be sent to the U.S. Mexico border to address a surge of illegal activity. In a memo to Defense Secretary James Mattis and Homeland Security Secretary Kirstjen Nielsen, Trump ordered the National Guard be used to secure the border to stop the flow of deadly drugs and other contraband gang members and other criminals, and illegal aliens into this country. Trump first suggested Tuesday he'd like to deploy troops to the southern border to secure the area until his proposed wall can be built. Trump in recent days has been tweeting his frustrations about current immigration laws. He has warned of caravans of migrants approaching the border and called on Congress to enact tougher regulations. The embarrassing part of Gov. Brown's announcement is that the president never said that he had any intention of asking Oregon for help. In fact, anyone who is familiar with a map of the United States could probably see that Oregon isn't the ideal state to ask to dispatch troops to guard our southern border. Brown is essentially the quintessential kid that didn't he get invited to the party, who says that they wouldn't he go even if they were asked. However, the fact that border needs protection isn't he something that s up for discussions. American Military News reported earlier this week that the president has decided to make sure the southern border has every security measure possible, even without Brown's help. Until we can have the wall and proper security, we are going to be guarding our border with a military. That has a big step, comma, Trump told reporters at the White House on Tuesday. We really haven't he done that before. Certainly not very much before. Dot. Currently, U.S. Border Patrol is in charge of patrolling and maintaining the border. Trump has recently criticized the United States' weak border laws. Mexico has very strong immigration laws. We should have those laws, comma, the president had said. We have immigration laws that are laughed at by everybody. We need the wall, we need the protection, and we need to change our immigration laws at the border and elsewhere. President Donald Trump on Wednesday signed a proclamation that deploys the National Guard to the U.S.-Mexico border. Homeland Security Secretary Kirstjen Nielsen said earlier that the White House was working with governors across the country and that the deployment hopefully begins immediately. Trump tweeted early Wednesday that the U.S. has very weak border laws. While, those of Mexico and Canada are very strong. Congress must change these Obama era, and other. Laws now come Trump tweeted. The Democrats stand in our way they want people to pour into our country unchecked crime. We will be taking strong action today. 
Trump said earlier in the week that he was sending the military to guard the border until the wall between the U.S. and Mexico can be built. The move would help prevent illegal crossings, the president said. Don't. Do you think Gov. Brown should be punished for defying the president? Let us know in the comments. The comments.